hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by so i was really feeling like i wanted to go out i wanted to eat rest restaurant food and you know we all the lockdown in place that's not advisable right now in fact it's not even possible so i put together this pasta dish made with red wine and smoked chicken and it's absolutely delicious i was so proud of myself for pulling this off and if you're interested in seeing how i made this dish how i achieved you know this delicious pasta dish continue to watch do not forget to like if you really like this video subscribe because it makes me very happy and you know comment and share on your on your social platforms and i would really love if you do that so i'll see you in my next one then okay so the first thing i did you know because this is a pasta dish and it's not a nigerian dish so first things first i went ahead and i deseeded my tomatoes now i'm just showing you how deseeding your tomatoes removes all the sourness you know that tomato comes with a bit of um, sour um, acid to it it has a sour taste you have to keep on cooking it so because i don't want to cook for cook my tomatoes for that long for this dish i deseeded de my tomatoes and i just cut them in big chunks now after deseeding your tomatoes no matter what you do or how you cook it you won't get that slapping that sour taste you get from making like your regular nigerian stew so i'm just showing you that i have roughly chopped off my tomatoes chopped off my tomatoes and they are ready for the pot now these are some spring onions which i absolutely love every time i i cook this is like green peppers and i just cut them in long um, rectangular strands if you, if, if you get what i mean so next thing off to our onions and garlic so guys if you can get more garlic please use more garlic but this is what i used and then obviously smoked chicken and this chicken i got from um zatek yep and i have i, I had roasted it already to make it a little bit dry and then you need butter not margarine not blue band you need real butter for this so this is a bit of all the ingredients i'm used i used for this dish you know you can see and then lastly my red wine this is red wine i just got from my fridge it's not like it's cooking red red wine but it also works now this salt i saw this in goodies and i thought i must try it out and then yeah so let's just go on and then let's just start cooking obviously first things first you need to um cook your pasta and i like to cook my pasta with a little bit of salt and some oil now i'm, I'm going to drain all this out but this is like a quarter tablespoon of a quarter cup sorry like two tablespoons of oil that's what i put in the pot I allowed that to boil and then I just went ahead and added my spaghetti to you know melt in the pot and to get cooked and all that so yeah this is usually the first step because you want your pasta to be cooked and ready for when you are ready to mix up everything so now you can see I'm putting a large dollop of that butter now butter has a very unique flavor not margarine like I repeat again not margarine butter real butter so i just allow that butter to you know i reduce the fire so that it doesn't burn like it, it's supposed to uh, melt over medium heat not hot hot fire and then now my butter is all nicely melted up and i go ahead and add my onions just to um for flavor i love onions but i hate cutting onions in the kitchen i'm sure i've mentioned it before and like i said your garlic can be more because trust me you can make this food without even onions just use butter and garlic and trust me i think it will even come out a lot better this garlic is really small um i ran out of garlic the day i made this so but anyways it still came out really really amazing so here is me just you know stirring my onions and my garlic with the butter and trust me man the aroma from this thing the aroma i was getting it was intense i felt like licking the pot i felt like the, the smell was overwhelming overwhelmingly good not bad good 
so butter really goes really well with garlic and in most of these dishes you will notice that when you go to restaurants they don't use maggi they don't use no cubes they just use like salt and a lot of um herbs and this is why i found out that you know garlic and butter is one of those things that they really really use a lot in many of these rest 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 restaurants so um so now i'm adding my the seeded tomatoes and like i said earlier because i've i've taken out the seeds there's no it's not it the tomatoes won't um, release as much liquid and it won't have that sour taste that tomatoes normally have so that makes your cooking time a lot you know a lot less and everything will you know just move like everything will just come together nicely now i've added a little salt i'm not adding any form of no cubes to these dishes and now my smoked chicken is a i'm sure if you know smoked chicken it already has like a bit of salt it has a bit of taste so i'm trying not to over salt this dish at the same time so yeah added in my smoked chicken now some people might add in their smoked chicken earlier but it doesn't matter and you know most of the times all these um foreign chefs they use black pepper i love the flavor of black pepper but as a nigerian black pepper doesn't cut it for the um, the hotness i really want in my in my food it doesn't cut it for me so you see later on that i went on and added some dry pepper some dry hot pepper yes so that is me now adding my dry hot pepper because nigerian in me won't just allow black pepper doesn't do it for me or like i like it hot i like the food a little bit hot not even too hot just moderately hot that's how i like my food anything i eat has to be a little bit hot not too hot and then yeah i'm just pouring in some of that red wine i won't lie i was a bit skeptical about this but i read up a lot and red wine goes well with proteins it goes well with beef especially so you can swap the smoked chicken for minced beef and it would come out even better so yeah i'm adding my spring onions i like to add my spring onions and my green peppers last because the flavors they give you when they are put in last at the end of a dish is different from when you put them right in the beginning trust me if you're making gravies or anything add your spring onions and your green peppers after everything is almost done the flavor is out of this world if you're making stew add your green peppers and your spring onions after you've you know you finish cooking your tomato stew and you would trust me you come back and tell me that i know what i'm talking about because it gives it a unique intense wonderful flavor so that is me just you know adding the last batch of my ingredients again i'm not trying to overcook this is my um last batch of veggies that i just added because you know everything fresh 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 now um along the line i know i found out that the amount of spaghetti i had was too much for this dish so i added a little bit more salt which i'm sure i didn't show on camera but yeah this is me just trying to stir it and i i was bummed a little because i felt like i shouldn't have added as much pasta but it's fine it's fine it honestly turned out better than i imagined at this point i thought it was a fail but it was it turned out really really like it turned out amazing i was i could give myself a pat on the back all that was missing from this dish was parmesan cheese and if that cheese was there man that was a knockout so because i said that you know of course i added too much spaghetti i needed to make up for that with a little salt and that was me just adding my extra salt but you know when I tasted it even at this point i swear it tasted so good it tasted so good i was like i need to i need to think of my life because I, I might be in the wrong business for real for real for real so this is me adding some more black pepper because again i felt like he was missing something he wasn't missing salt he was just missing a little flavor now notice that i haven't put any maggi i'm not putting maggi i'm not putting any of that because this dish doesn't require it and now this is the bomb ass results smoked chicken with red wine spaghetti my fresh herbs no maggi it's it was tasty it was extremely tasty trust me we are just two people in this house but this food it finished that night as in it finished the night i made it 
it didn't stay till the next day it was that good i only had um sandwich cheese in my fridge and that was what i put on it and it was still great i just wish i had parmesan cheese because that would have brought this all together this was amazing it was so 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 amazing so guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please subscribe subscribe guys i noticed that people are just watching and watching and watching and nobody is subscribing so please subscribe check out all my other videos and click on both videos on this screen and you know you see all the other content i have and i'll see you in my next one do not forget to subscribe i'm watching you subscribe subscribe now thanks thank you